Here's one of our Chenango Solosi Gras tanks. These are all bred and raised by us. They're about two and a half to three inches right now. I got quite a few males that are starting to change. If you don't know already, with this species and a few other Mabuna species, they start off a certain color, in this case yellow. They all come out yellow from the mother. And then as they grow, the males will start to turn blue around that two to three inch mark. So all the yellow ones you see are either females or subdominant males. Um, so as you can see, some of them, some of them like this one here, little egg spot and a little bit of color on the fins. That one's gonna change, and I'll show you the difference. So that's a fully changed one there, fully transitioned. It actually is gonna get a little more blue, but that's how it looks right now. And then like this one here, this one's like a stage below him. It's still got some yellow on him. This one here is like another stage below. It's like half and half that yellow and and blue coming in. And then and then he like here. That one just starting to change. And like that one right in front of the camera, just starting to color up. But when they start getting those um, those black bars and that blue starts to come in, that's the beginning. But uh, yeah, as you can see, I got a lot of extra males. I'm gonna be selling the uh, selling all but two males or three males from this group because I'm gonna make a new bird colony from these. Like I said, they're bred and raised by us. Um, but my other colony is only two males, 12 females. I did a video on them before. These are my biggest offspring from that group, but I got lots of other ones growing up. So no females available, unfortunately, right now. I know a lot of people have been waiting for females, only males, but males are gorgeous. But uh, I'm hoping to make a pretty big group, 30 to 40 females from this group, because I think I'll still, after all the males you see that are already transitioned are sold, I'll probably have another 10 males that color up, because like I said, a lot of the yellow ones are females, but some are still subdominant males. Um, but after that, I'll be putting a group together. I may end up selling my original group. They still breed very, very well, and they're still young. And then I've got lots more growing up. I'll have, uh, I'll definitely have some females and breeder groups available soon. These are very popular. I know a lot of people have been looking for these. They're a dwarf species of Mabuna. They don't get as big. I think max they get is like five inch. Females maybe like four or four and a half inch. Some will stay even smaller, it varies, but they're great for a species only tank because as you can see, females have great color. It's a nice contrast to color. You can have a 40 gallon with two or three males and and um, eight to eight to 15, eight to, 18 to 20 females and then a 75 gallon. You can have like three males up to like 25 to 30 females if you wanted to make a super group. But yeah, these guys are very healthy, doing great, active, lots of males transitioning. Very dominant, they're all showing off, trying to be the big dog, but this guy right here is definitely the, uh, the big dog of the tank, most dominant. And a few of these have been starting to breed as well. But uh, if you're in interested in any of the extra males, they're on our website, www.ronsippers.com. They'll be in that two and a quarter to, the, to three inch size mark, uh, size range. So the Juvie large size. That's it.